let me say this first. I think some people chase after money as if like money is going to piece everything together. I think one of the best things you can have is peace. Like, what is riches <laughs> without peace? I think peace is very underestimated, or how should I say that? I think peace is, I don't know what word to use for that. Whatever. Anyways. Things are going so much better for me. And like some problems, but not as much as it was some months ago, months ago. I believe it was in March and probably a bit before that too, it was like so many things was happening. Like issue after issue after issue. It was bad. Am I telling you that I did everything right? No. Am I telling you I am the top elite Christian of the whole world? No. Even though I was having so much problems, yes, I made mistakes, but I pretty much kept my focus, my trust on God. I think with some people, they may become discouraged when problems come their way. So they may begin going back to their old ways. They may begin <clears throat> going back to their old way of thinking. Listen now. Just because you are having problems now doesn't mean it is always going to be that way. For me, I was having so many problems. Like, some things were out of my hands, as in some things I could not really do anything about, in a sense, other than pray about it. How would it have benefited me if I would have turned my back against God? How would it have benefited me for me to turn back into my sinful ways back to how I used to be so pretty much all I had to do really place my trust in God and what stay patient stay consistent Stay persistent. If that makes any sense to you. Continue trying to do what is right, even though you are going through a hard time. Or should I say hard times? Things 
are getting better. Things are improving. I believe when you give your life to Jesus Christ, I truly believe God is always going to test you. Or should I say, I believe there are times of testing. So if you are being tested or whatever, stay persistent, stay consistent, stay in Christ. Don't see problems as an excuse to give up on God. Because what you are going through may not last forever. Especially how it was for me, my issues, those issues that I was going through, not all of it lasted forever. Pretty much, I guess I can say, they were temporary. I hope this makes sense. So, at one point, as it seemed, back to back, bad things was happening. Some peace, but back to back almost, I would say. But now, like things are working out, things are improving. Things are becoming more convenient. I hope this makes sense. Just because you have given your life to Christ doesn't mean you are not going to encounter problems. I don't know where this thinking came from. I gave my life to God, so everything should be perfect now. No, 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 no. What I believe, you are going to be constantly purged. We are supposed to become more like Jesus Christ every day. So, purge, what needs to be purged is the bad qualities within you. So if you are impatient, I believe you are going to be tested in your patience. Anyways, your problems may not last forever. They are probably, probably temporary. So if they are temporary, why make decisions that may affect your life until the day you die? As in, why make bad decisions that you may have to deal with for the rest of your life? Maybe if you would have dealt with that problem in a godly manner, maybe that problem would have been temporary, but you made a bad decision on something. Now you may have to deal with it for a longer time than what was necessary, I guess I can say. I hope this makes sense. I was going through so much problems. Like some stress and... But now, things are, I guess I can say, being pieced together. As if someone is configuring a puzzle. Just being pieced in. 
piece by piece, things are going pretty much good. Some issues, but <laughs> not like how it was before. No way. God bless you all.